This is slide 68 um, of our chapter 19 PowerPoint. Um, the example problem states, one of the initial possible initial steps in the formation of acid rain is the oxidation of the pollutant SO2 to SO3 by the following reaction. And they want us to calculate delta G at 25 degrees Celsius and determine whether the reaction is spontaneous. And if you're following along on your PowerPoint, they give us a chart of um, enthalpy of formation values as well as standard entropy values. And so we're going to use a, another equation related to the Gibbs free energy equation. Um, and I'm going to skip ahead a couple slides on here. Basically, we can calculate the standard free um, Gibbs free energy change of our reaction if we use the standard enthalpy change of our reaction minus temperature times the standard change of entropy of our reaction. In order to do that though, we are going to have to, oops, sorry, calculate the standard enthalpy enthalpy and the standard entropy change using this reaction right here, which I'm highlighting, that's for enthalpy, and the reaction or the equation that we've used in a previous problem, the um, change in entropy of our reaction. So on the slide um, in our presentation and on the slide that I'm narr narrating, um, I have the standard enthalpy of formation values written for each of the reactants and products, as well as the standard entropy. So our first calculation in this multi-step problem is going to be figuring out the change, um, our standard enthalpy change of reaction using the highlighted um, equation shown below. We technically learned how to do this in first semester. So basically, we're going to use the tabulated values, plug them into this equation, and that's going to allow us to solve for our enthalpy, standard enthalpy of reaction. So if I look at my values written up here, we're going to start with our product. We have no... Um, additional moles so we don't have to multiply anything so it's literally going to be negative 395.7 by itself not multiplied by anything and we're going to subtract from that SO2 also just one mole of that it's going to be negative 296.8 and we're going to add that with one half times zero which gives us zero. So then we're looking at negative 395.7 minus um, this just negative 296.8. And so if we subtract those from each other, we should get negative 98.9 kilojoules. For the second part, we are going to be calculating the standard entropy change of our reaction. Um, and we just did a very similar calculation to this. So we're going to plug in for product. So that's going to be 256.8 minus our reactants. So 248.2 plus um, 1 half times 205.2 for our reactants. So 256, oops, 0.8 stays the same. Subtracting it is 350.8. And if we subtract those two values, you should get 94.0, and this is in units of joules per Kelvin. So that's our second number that we're going to need. So now, lastly, 
and I already have both of these numbers written on our last slide, we calculated our delta H of our reaction, negative 98.9 kilojoules. We calculated our delta S of reaction, which is negative 94, and I apologize, that is not in units of kilojoules. It is joules per Kelvin. And then I went ahead and calculated T, which states in the problem is 25 degrees C. So 25 plus 273 is 298 K. So now we're almost ready to plug into our delta G equation. <coughs> Only thing we need to do is make sure that our delta H is in proper units. So negative 98.9. We move the decimal over three spots corresponds to negative 98,900 joules. We have to convert that in order to make sure all our units are the same for plugging into our equation. So then we get delta G is equal to negative 98,900 joules minus 298k times negative 94 joules per Kelvin. And if we multiply, divide, add up together, you should get a negative 70,900 joules, or if you want to convert it back to kilojoules, it would be negative 70.9 kilojoules. And that is your Gibbs free energy for this reaction. It's also asking if the reaction is spontaneous. Recall that a negative Gibbs free energy means yes, it's spontaneous. Positive means it's non-spontaneous. So since this is negative, the reaction is non-spontaneous. And there you have it.